Hello everyone, once again you welcome back in the site Nepal and today we have a came with a very beautiful topic that is a residential building. So how can we do the residential building by using a site software as well as a Revit and as well as AutoCAD. So by the help of the software how can we do the different project. Suppose that this is a plan of a residential building which all the project. you are doing some project regarding the residential building then we have to follow the different types of rule and regulation so suppose you are doing a uh, there is some um, rules are available and we have to follow the some rule and regulations for the construction suppose you are doing a some building in a you have to follow the rule and regulations of uh, this place Suppose what might be the total height of the building and double tie beam we have to use and this book is also called the rule book or sometimes it is also called a laser book and which is a given by the government. So we have to study all the regarding things which is which helps you to for the constructions of the any place. So uh, this is a plan which is I have received from um, Bara district. You can see the image, this is a blueprint. I have got so how I have done. So uh, let give uh, in this video we are going to discuss you the different things which is a requirement for getting the approval from the you can see this some client uh, you might got some uh, from the some cl uh, client that uh, what might be the dimension of the sites they will provide you and this is also called the blueprint we can and this is the whole project of how how to handle and how to submit the each and every information that we are going to explain you in this video so uh, please watch till the end and you um, i hope that you might get some information which is regarding to your project so let us start so everything we have to start from the autocad so you go to the autocad and and click uh, this is the AutoCAD file I have done so how to start the project at first uh, we have to think then how to start the project how can we trace uh, the site which is given by your uh, given by client so how can we do the all the things which is a requirement for the construction of the any building project or any residential building so come to the AutoCAD and at first we have to set the unit just give the UN command and just enter it and you can see that already I have set the in the inches and feet so set the unit and give the ok here so type the image in a command just I am type the image type the image and give the enter and you will get the one dial box and go to the attach DWG so I am going to attach the image here so this is my image so just open it and just give the ok you can drag from anywhere in autocad uh, window just i am going to drag here so this is my this is my side uh, uh, dimension and this is a side so how to trace the all the how to make the uh, plan so just give the scale command just uh, sc for the scale and give the enter and select the image and give the enter again and select the any base point just I am going to select this base point and just give the reference so I am taking the distance between the two points this is a this point to last point is a total dimension which is a given to the uh, side that is a totally 22 feet so I am typing the 22 feet and you can see the all the drawing that have been the scale uh, according to the side requirements so what we have to do we can go to the uh, a layer also you can create a layer and you can have the trace all the things which is required for you so now i'm i'm not going to trace uh, just i'm going to give the example just i'm going to take the line command here and you can trace from a to air so trace and if uh, there is some uh, curve you save then you can uh, go for a arc option also and you can do but now i am doing similarly just i am doing roughly here but uh, when you have the new plan then you have to do the correctly so now you can delete this image just i am deleting this image this is a site and you can again you can scale it go to the select all the 
select all and give the sc command just give the enter select the any point and give the point select the any go to the reference and uh, so select all and give the sc command give the enter and select the any point go to the reference and again you select the both these two point i'm giving the 22 inch 22 feet sorry and give the enter so all the you can get according to your side just this is the side we have the 22 uh, feet here and the similar way you can get in autocad also mm, so in this way we can do um, we can prepare the what what is a side dimension in autocad very easily so this is a one process and again if you want if you see the all the commands with the dimension commands we have the linear and angular arc and radius so uh, while we are doing uh, some plan we don't have any option to take the dimension between these two points we don't have any option so what we have to do we have to go to the Autodex website and we can download the leaves uh, suppose I am uh, using the some leaves to get the dimension between the, these two points up to here to here what might be the dimension here uh, initially from this point to last point we don't have any option so we go to the manage tab and just to load applications and you can you can see this is a application this is called lips which i have downloaded from the website uh, autodex website so you can download just uh, give the load here the once i am going to load and just close it so go to the command right there deep curve and give the enter so select this point line give the enter and space, uh, put where you want the dimension just i want say here only just click so this is a very uh, wonderful lips we have uh, available in uh, uh, autodex website you can download and you can use so this is a very important I, ha I have already told you how can we do the all the setups and this is called blocks so how can we use the blocks and you can see these are the blocks which is available in a website you can go to the google and give the uh, a search for the blocks free blocks you will get the many more blocks uh, and which uh, which is a very helpful to uh, make the plan as uh, attractive so suppose you want to use the any blocks suppose this is my plan and i want to put the bed here suppose i want to put here because this is a brand we don't require a bed here so suppose i want to put the bed here so you go to the this uh, um, this file and select the any but i love to use this one just give the control plus c and go to the plan just give the control plus b so you can see this is your uh you can see this is my bed so how can we this is bed is so large now and our plan is so small so how can we um, make the proper uh, proper uh, size so select this give the sl command give the enter and um, select the any base point just i'm going to select this base point and give the reference reference i'm going to take the diamond i'm going to take the point between this point to this point again you come to the point option and again go to the plan and i want to put the bed between these two point so select this two point and again you come come to the this uh, blocks just select give the copy command and select the any point and again you can come to the plan no sorry just select so give the move command just give the enter and select this bed and you come to the plan again and you can arrange the bed here so somehow you can do um, by the different process also we have you can do but this is a best method to input the block into the plan so in this way we can do the different types of the plan which is a uh, which you might receive so now after that we are going to create uh, what might be the 3d model of the, this plan so i am giving i am going to take the um, i am going to give the only some example how can we do the 3d model so let's take 